Okay, so I get a text from Charlie at like 6 a.m. this morning of a picture of Woodling Jim with mats all over it. You're here at Oak Harbor. Does it ever stop for you guys? No. We were at Midview yesterday, here today, Case on Friday, Cleveland State today, so we're everywhere. Gus was at, uh, was at Walsh. Yeah, he's at Walsh. It, it's everywhere. It's crazy. You guys are, it, it never stops, right? And it's it's in full swing through March, right? Would you say that that's accurate? Yeah, we, don't, we have Christmas Day off and New Year's Day off, and that's it until April 24th. Okay, and then I, I, I love doing the thing. You see the thing I do with the, you said, do I always give everybody the same, right? Like, I always got that with me, right? I always do that. But, you know, it's like, it's soap, too. It's not just wrestling. It's soap. It's, we're either distributing soap or we're working with new partners. It's always something, right? Yeah, we're always somewhere. How do you, how do you have the energy to do all that? And, and, and you're, you're a father. you got two young kids. It's passion. If you have passion, you find energy to do it blows my mind okay um but coming out here you know you guys can come to a sectional oec oec one of your partners okay you look at this relationship you look at this tournament it's growing yeah they added another another level 16 I, individual dates they added that's hell on coaches but 16 more days yeah it's tougher on guy seiko yeah it's tougher on charlie yes and gus yes right um when you look at that though they're adding more dates to you what's it do for your wrestlers though yeah it just gives them more exposure it's actually better if they're not you know, replicates in high school. It's sectional district state tournament. They got used to wrestling at Cinema to start now. The Iron Man is such a just a hammer tournament, right? You look at the Iron Man, it's early, the venue is small, it's not super fan friendly, but it's the toughest wrestling in America and it's in your backyard. Yeah, you when you have was saying it was super deep this year too. So deep. Yeah. So deep. But when you look at that, um, you know, you've got everything right here in North well, we're in Northwest Ohio, but over in northeast Ohio, you don't have to go far to find competition. No. And, right. Uh, we could jump over to PA if we want to, up in Michigan, we go to Indiana, we could get it. As a matter of fact, the first five weeks of our season, we're out of state, the first week home since the season started. Okay, so you're always pushing forward with new product, we're always working on new stuff, you're building a new building. <laughs> I don't know how you do all this stuff, but the new building's going to be ready here in the next two to three months, right? Uh, it's, it's up, no, it's up though. End, end of January, it's ready. Okay, and there's going to be a big move, and Charlie and I talked about the... Maybe we're going to get, like, some of the move on video. It's going to be pretty cool. We can do some semis, something crazy like that, right? I'm excited, right? But you can, six semis. And you're going to move from the warehouse in Lakewood to Vermilion. Probably one or two trips would be my guess, right? No, about six. Six trips, six semi trucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Where are you? That, that's something you do in the week. And, How do you fit that in? And all the and all the equipment will be there already. That's just inventory. Are you serious? Yeah, we have a lot of inventory. I don't know how you do it. What's is there any new products you've missed since I've been there last? No, we, what you'll see is a new label. We spent the last year redesigning our entire label. We have some meetings uh, actually Tuesday to get this into uh, brick and mortar. Big targets to be the first one that these they look at. So that's what we're doing now. So you're going to go from all online sales to brick and mortar. Well, that's our that's our last um, frontier. That's I guess crazy. I mean, we had we don't have any true brick and mortar presence and the, you'll see the new look it came out really good yeah i saw this charlie shared some with me there's the baby yoda there's a couple of different yeah, things yeah. right that's fun i like what you guys are doing with a lot of that but um um when we talk brick and mortar though the only way that a person who hands it to you besides zeb miller giving it to you as a sample is like a fedex person or a male person right well or, our, our distribution right now is set up through gyms like uh jujitsu studios um wrestling clubs those people resell for us they, they do resell that would be the closest thing to brick and mortar that we have right now so we're looking mainstream you, you might know start some see some commercials on tv we're starting to lay like the groundwork to be accepted into those stores i'm excited about it i'm not you know i like like to be able to tell people where to get the product and now we're trying to get people to to buy it on at defensesoap.com that's where they should be buying it or amazon but let's go with defensesoap.com because they're paying more on amazon right they're right. paying more on Amazon, but if you're an Amazon Prime guy, then you get the free shipping, so that's good. Kind of a wash then, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, last, The last frontier, and, and, and the most important thing to Guy Seiko's family, dad. Max walks up after he wins the tournament today. He's got a big, huge slushie. What'd you give him? What'd you give him? What'd you tell him? I want to know, how much money did you give him, and what did you tell him? He, I gave him five bucks. He said he was hungry, so go get something to eat. He comes back with a $5 slushie, so <laughs> that's, that's a kid, I guess. But he won his first. He won the first OAC sectional. His brother won the first OAC state championship. So. Okay, so I was talking to Ryan Hurley. I think Ryan Hurley won the first OAC. 
He won the first junior high there was. Well, he just won the first grade school at BW. That's crazy. And I think he wrestled some guy named Cam Desari or something. Is that who it was? <laughs> yeah. He might have wrestled him at the NCAA tournament before, too. He wrestled him there, too. We won't talk about that one. That's so crazy. You know, but it's like, it just you just look at how deep the roots go. Some of the guys you're running to out here, you're going to see them along the road, maybe in the state finals, maybe at the NCAA tournament. It's pretty wild, isn't it? Do you look at you go back and look at some of the Gus old Gus and you remember him, right? You remember the guys Gus Russell. You're gonna do the same thing with Max. You you hit reset. You're crazy, but I love it. Well, I said a uh, hundred times, Gus was the rough draft, Max the final copy. Okay. <laughs> do you tell him that? Do you tell Gus Gus nuts when I say that? <laughs> All right. I know you got kids to coach. Do you got anything else for me? No, you're doing a great job. Keep uh, bringing wrestling to the people. Defend what you built. Well, you actually keep bringing wrestling to the people people by. By actually uh, funding me, that's how, that's actually how it works. If people don't know, you're the you're the guy who greases the wheels. By the way, okay. I appreciate that. Thank you for the time. Keep grinding. Defend what you built. Yep. Thanks, sir.